ਗੈਸਟ ਲੈਣੇ ਬੜੇ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਬੜੀ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਨੂੰ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਕਰੋ ਨਵੀਂ ਵੀਡੀਓਜ਼ ਦੀ ਨੋਟੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਬੈਲ ਆਈਕਨ ਨੂੰ ਕਲਿੱਕ ਕਰਨਾ ਨਾ ਭੁੱਲਣਾ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਮਾਨਦੇਵ ਸਪਾਤ ਜਾਲੀ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਨ ਦ ਲੇਟ ਸ਼ੋ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਯੂਕੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਤੇ ਵੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਕੋਨੇ ਚ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋ ਬੜਾ ਨਿੱਘਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਹਰ ਦਫਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਸ਼ੋ ਖੋਲਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਗੈਸਟ ਲੈਣੇ ਬੜੇ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਬੜੀ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਦੂਰੋਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਇੰਟਰਲੈਕਚੁਅਲ ਗੈਸਟ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਵਾਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਚ ਆਪਣੇ ਘਰ ਬੱਚੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬੈਠੇ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਇਨਕਰੇਜ ਹੋਣ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰ ਕਰਨ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਬਣਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਰੋ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਐਵਰੀ ਮੰਡੇ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਦਾ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਟਿਵ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਬੜਾ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਲੱਗ ਲਾਣਾ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਬੜੇ ਮਿਨੇ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਬੜੀ ਪਰਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਮੰਗਣੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਫਰਮ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਹੈ ਡਾਕਟਰਸ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਅਪੀਅਰ ਇਨ ਅ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਸ਼ੋ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਣਾ ਬੜੀ ਕੰਪਲੀਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਨੇ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਅੱਜ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਆਮੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੰਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਯੰਗਸਟਰਸ ਆਮੀ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਸ਼ੋਚ ਮਕਸਦ ਆਈ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਮਸਤ ਗਿਆਰਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਜਾਂ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਨੌਕਰੀਆਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਫੋਰਸਿਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਸੋਚੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਮੈਟ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਹੋਵੇ ਆਰ ਐਫ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਾਂ ਨੇਵੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਦਾ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਟਰਸਟ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਫੀਲ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ and this is your life where you going to live and this is where you going to maintain your life chalo main bahut time zaya nahi karta mere guest mein introduce karke assi show ke lekh jane pehle mere paas on my left got a sergeant jackie blaker and uh, for pt which is a private uh, uh, hajit singh am i right yes thank you very much for coming into the show i really appreciate for you making an effort Thank you come you. from far, don't you? I yeah, two hour travel. Uh, no, it wasn't. Was it two hours? Two hours, but it it's good. Um, thank you very much, Pal, for having us in tonight. No, it's my good. pleasure. Because I'm honoured and privileged to have you on. All my idea to bring you on is I hope there's something they're going to listen to, you, and some youngsters, some ladies out there will say yes. I want to follow. You want to call you Jackie, yeah? Yeah, Jackie, Jackie. Absolutely. And uh, what about you? You a local man? I'm local. I live in Feltham, not far away. So uh, but my base is in South Hall, South Hall Broadway, which is the Army Reserve Centre. So very much my local... Uh, very local to you. Very center, nice. Very much local. Jackie, I'm going to start. You know, the most important thing is... Um, excuse me when I, when I say, like, the, with the Asian family, it's not very easy, especially for the girl, to break into the army. Uh, she, there's a big barrier she's got to go through, like, community, the mom and dad and the family. Uh, let's start with you. Where were you born, like? I was born um, in Sussex. England um raised in West Sussex and all my schooling it was all local um up to college level so i i have um a brother and a sister my sister lived away um and she was older and my brother lived with me and we we had a steady steady childhood growing up supportive families what when you were younger like uh, when the schooling uh junior school then you went to the higher school and and uni or whatever what time what, when did you decide that what you had you, had you decided earlier that you what you wanted to do in life um i was 13 when i decided i wanted to join the army no when you were 13 13 yes why um my, i said my sister lived away so my sister was in the army um okay okay so my dad ex navy military family um my my granddad was royal air force so there's lots of military going on in my family and at 13 i loved sports i loved running i represented my school at running and i saw my sister and how she had loads of adventures and i thought that's the life for me keep my fitness go traveling have adventures that's what i want to do and it's st- stuck at 13 and it's stuck until See, this is this is it like i asked the question where were you born uh, you told me about the family as well where they very much into the uh, army and wearing uniforms doing different jobs uh this is how you got in your mind when you're the age of 13 uh, there's always a reason and bringing you onto the show tonight and uh, this is the reason I want people to say hang on a minute I'll show this young lady and this young man on the TV and this is the, what they do and I think they were start thinking the penny will drop in I think I should make some inqui
ਤੇ ਕਾਬਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਸਕੂਲ ਵੀ ਕਾਬਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਕਾਲਜ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਸੀਗਾ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੈਸੇ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਾਸ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੱਡੇ ਹੋਣ ਲੱਗ ਪਏ ਬੋਰ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਹੂੰ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਨਸ ਕੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਫਿਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਤੇ ਵੈਸੇ ਕੁਝ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੁਝ ਹੁਣ ਪੈਕ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਚਲੀ ਗਏ ਨੇ ਅੱਛਾ ਹਾਂ ਬੱਦੋਂ ਬੜੀ ਪੈਕ ਇੰਨ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਚ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਚ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਾਮਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਦੀ ਮਡੈਥ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਉਹ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਥੇ ਓਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਅਫਗਾਨੀ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਇਨਟੂ ਅ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਸਾਊਥ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੱਲ ਕਰੋ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਸ਼ੂਰ ਯੂਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਵਾਸ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਅ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਸ਼ਾਪ ਲਈ ਸੀ ਆਫ ਲਾਇਸੈਂਸ ਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਇੱਕ 2 ਸਾਲ ਚਲਾਈ ਤੇ ਉਹਦਾ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿ ਇਟਸ ਟੂ ਮਚ ਟਾਈਮ you have to spend a lot of time 5 to 11 every single day you forget about like going to funeral or wedding or birthday parties or nothing at all you're just busy is with the shop all the time we're going to talk about this as well and uh, fair breakthrough to the army fair ਉਹ ਛੱਡਤਾ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੈਂ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਚਲੋ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕਰੀਏ ਨਾਲੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਵੇਟ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੀ ਹੈਲਥ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਸੋਚਦਾ ਪਿਆ ਸੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆਰਮੀ ਚ ਰੈਗੂਲਰ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਪਏ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰ ਲੈ ਰੈਗੂਲਰ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰ ਲੈ ਤੇਰੀ ਫਿਟਨੈਸ ਵੀ ਠੀਕ ਹੋ ਜਾਣੀ ਹੈ ਨਾਲੇ ਕੈਰੀਅਰ ਗੁੱਡ ਕੈਰੀਅਰ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਮੈਂ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਸਕੂਲ ਥੋੜਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਪੜ੍ਹ ਕੇ ਛੱਡ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਕੂਲ ਹੀ ਬੰਦ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਕੰਮ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਪੈ ਗਏ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਹੈ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਤੇ ਦੇ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂ نو ਤੁਸੀਂ ਡੋਨ ਮਾਈ ਮੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਬੋਥ ਕਟ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਹਾਂ ਐਂਡ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਡ ਯੂ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਅਫਗਾਨਿਸਤਾਨ ਇਸ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਇਹ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਸੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਸੀ ਪੜ੍ਹਦੇ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਜੋ ਸ਼ਾਸਤਰੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪੜਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਬੰਦੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪੜਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਟੀਚਰ ਸੀਗੇ ਅਫਗਾਨੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਵੀ ਸੀਗੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਟੀਚਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲੇ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਵੀ ਸੀਗੇ ਟੀਚਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪੜਾਉਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਫਾਰਸੀ ਵੀ ਪਸ਼ਤੋ ਵੀ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੋਲੇ ਨਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਸ਼ਤੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਂਦੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਕਾਬਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੱਡਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾਤਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਫਾਰਸੀ ਹੀ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਆ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਫਾਰਸੀ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਆ ਫਾਰਸੀ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਜੈਕੀ ਵਨ ਆਰ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਹਿਮ ਦੇ ਆ ਫਿਊ ਵਰਡਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਪਿਕ ਅਪ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨੇ ਯੈਸ ਫਿਊ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਅਨਦਰ ਫਿਊ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਯੂ ਬੀ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਜਾਬੀਆ ਕਨ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਦੈਟ ਮੇਬੀ ਇਨ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਵੀਕਸ ਯਾ ਐਟ ਲੀਸਟ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਪਿਕ ਫਿਊ ਵਰਡਸ ਯਾ ਹੋਪਫੁਲੀ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਯੈਟ ਲੋ ਸੋ ਯਾ ਜੈਕੀ ਇਟਸ ਕੁਆਟ ਇਟਸ ਕੁਆਟ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਯੂ نو ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਈ ਮਾਈ ਸੈਲਫ ਫੀਲ ਵੈਰੀ ਅਮ ਟੂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ نو ਅਮ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਅ ਯੂਨੀਫਾਰਮ ਯੂ ਸ਼ਾਈਨ ਆਊਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਸਟਾਰ ਇਟ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਸ ਆਊਟ ਯੂਰ ਪਰਸਨੈਲਿਟੀ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਲੀ ਨੋਟ ਅਸ ਅਨੋਸ ਡਿਸਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ but you probably would not act or behave same as without uh, civilian clothes would you it's a different isn't it it's, it's, it's definitely natural different. you you're representing um the, force. the forces yeah you're representing not just yourself but but everybody who wears this uniform so you have to you have to be proud and you have to carry it well how do you feel when you walk on the streets or high street or you go to the airport or the underground and people look at you and <laughs> you know uh, i i had a, a job role once where i was actively recruiting so it was my job to be out there and i it, it, you get lots of attention yeah positive mostly positive sometimes negative no sometimes no really sometimes yeah but um as with every job you know it it
I tested, I mean, like, I signed on March, and uh, that's two years coming, just two months. Do, when you know, when you go for the assessment, you go for the interview, uh, is it tough? They ask you a lot of questions. What that's, do you what do? I, that's what my thinking was, to be, yeah. everybody was saying, go join, go join, it's easy. And my mind was, army, it's like, big thing. Big. If you're a civilian, army sounds very big. Absolutely. Key. And you think, be a very fit person, very quick, you be educated already. All these things, but you don't need anything like really? this. Really? And fitness is, uh, you have to work a little bit on fitness, but it's not highest fitness. You will get trained as you going forward. Because when I joined, my fitness wasn't that good. I was almost 90 kilo weight. And I joined it. They teach me how to do it. They tell you what app to use, how to go ahead, and also what fitness is, what levels you need to get to before. Then you get to your mode one, which is first level of your education, I mean, getting traded, then mode two, you get fully trained as after mode three, they call it. And once you've done your mode three, you're fully qualified soldier. And then after that, you try to do what trade you are, like mom, uh, driver. So they're going to give me all the licenses for the like lorry to bus and all these, what is needed for my job to be Fulfill. But Jackie, we were talking earlier, it's, it's not, you know, when you say I'm a driver, it sounds like simple. It's not simple, especially when you're talking about the uh, army trucks and those big trailers and and you're sitting up high in the sky. It's so huge. I love it. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I love, uh, yeah, I love I can't, these trucks. You can't even get to the top to the cabin. You no, know? you have to climb up. You've got to climb yeah, up. Yeah. I'm, I'm five foot seven, but I, they have talk way I have to climb up. But how can um, I, the you respect Jackie, how can a little girl like you drive? <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of it though, it's, eh? it's so good. There's Is a, it? Yeah, you get trained um, to do your to car, to, to lorry, to lorry and trailer, um, to carry fuel, to, to pick up containers. You can do all the specialisations and it's up to you how far you push it. Um, but I personally, I love the big trucks. I, th I think they're great fun. But um, tell me these army trucks, obviously the, the, the latest trucks they're very much hydraulic and they very sophisticated they're like you can turn the straining by like a finger is it the same with the army trucks or you really want to go like you yeah know? no they 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 are uh, yeah they're, they're not they are um air harder air, air powered no they're, they're, they're power, like a car okay. yeah you just have to be aware of your surroundings obviously because you're huge you're wide and long um, I can't imagine heavy. you driving one of those. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. you, I know, I'm sure you're the national team, you don't tell me lies. No, I'm not, no. Yeah, I, 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 learned, <laughs> I learned to drive my lorries. And, really? Yeah. Ajit, what's your, you've been there for two years now. Uh, it's long enough to know whether you're going to stay or you're going to think back up your bags and come back home, Dad, I'm coming back to the business. No, I think I continue. Really? I think I continue because it's, it gives me so much of the motivation uh -huh. and also it's, it's just something like you're proud of, you've done something. Like I didn't tell my family when I was joining because I know they will say not to join. No, uh, no, no. Definitely. So I joined, I passed my mode one and then I told them, I said, I'm in the army now. Really? And but they said, you know, no, I would see, if I see you walking, like I said, on the street, not only me, anybody, give me some, you like stars, you, you people look up to you, you know what I mean? The uniform makes all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're proud to wear it. We, we represent, as we said earlier, we represent a community and um, we're not stars. We're just people doing our job, but we're proud to do our job and we want to do it. Yeah, but the people's assumption, like you said, uh, everyone probably thinks it's not easy to get into. You need that, you need a degree, you need to be good in maths, you've got to be good in English, blah, blah, blah. And you've got to be like six foot, you've got to be like that broad. <laughs> it's nothing like that, is it? Uh, no, you, you have to be committed. So that, that's one thing I will say, you have to commit yourself. You have to um, listen to when you're told you must get fit, but they teach you, this is how you get fit. If you haven't got education, they will educate you. They'll get you to the relevant place you need to be to be in the job that you can perform. And then there are so many jobs out there. Uh, we're both drivers because we're both from the same unit. I was military police before I became a driver. In our current unit, we have communications. What did you change over? I, I changed from regular to reserve, which meant I job role changed. And I did that because I had kids. I had three children. And when I had the third, um, my mindset changed. The commitment for taking them to uh, their, their 
childcare, the cost of the childcare. I wasn't seeing my children. My whole lifestyle changed, and I thought, I don't want to be regular anymore. I'll, I'll come. But you do have a facility within. So for, the, for the children, for schooling and other facilities, don't yeah, you? Yes, so the army do provide, um, you, you pay for it, but they do provide childcare facilities. There are schools within barracks in certain areas. Um, but it just wasn't working for me. Mm. It, for me personally, um, it wasn't right. So I decided to leave. And then my boss at the time said, what about reserves? And I looked into it and I thought, you know what, it's, it's flexible, it can work. It and works both ways now, for the family and, and the job as well. Absolutely, yes. Um, we're here late tonight, it's fine, it works. Um, we could be working in the morning, we work some weekends, but as reservists as well, we don't have to do it. Have to do so it. So we can say, we can't do it tonight, I'm sorry, and we can rearrange things. So. But you tell me, to see, you know, like very simply, you say I'm a driver, but that's a big, huge thing being with the army as well. Um, can you drift, do something different, something... Yes, you know? once I traded, once I got my trade done, like all the licenses done, I'm fully trained as a driver, then I got nothing else to do after that. So I can choose to become chef, I can be become accountant, become nurse, I can become anything. People think is well, loads of jobs are there. So young pe for a young person to become in a regular army, he don't need to go to university, he can just get any qualification he wants, become a doctor, become a accountant, become pilot. Pharmacist or, Pharmacist or, or, or even even pick up a gun and go in the army straight into the army, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Would you Once be thinking of that? And you have got a, because you seem to be quite fit now, uh, you think you, I'm not saying being a driver is not constructive, it is very constructive to drive those huge trucks, but then again, having a gun and going up in the front, that's something totally uh, shows a difference between a man and a boy, doesn't it? Uh, the army you, yeah. isn't about picking up a gun and running into So I think that's a massive misconception. For, yes, we're trained soldiers. That's the first thing we must do mm -hmm. is, is train as a soldier. But your trade is what you are. Um, I, I deployed to Afghanistan when it was, you know, when it was there. And that wasn't my role, wasn't picking up my rifle and running out there. My role was teaching the Afghan civilians how to police so that they could then police themselves. It was protecting the community. Um, yes, I had a rifle on me, but that's really? not what, it's not what we're about. Um, mm. We don't just pick up a gun and run. That is like a massive misconception of what the army is. You know, um, we see the pictures like when youngsters like yourself have been trained by the, by the boss, whoever, the sergeant or the major, whoever it is and they shout and they scream and they make you run and you fall down and say, get up, you shout, stop and wait. Does they really make you do all that? Oh, that you answer This that is the yeah. motivation. <laughs> they do it, but they push you to do it, to don't give up. But this is something... Are they, are they really that hard? No, you, no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not. Oh, it's just demotrized, is it? I think what you see on telly doesn't <laughs> represent <laughs> what just, really yeah. happened. I, I think these trained, kind of yes. the things probably putting off the youngsters, to be honest, you know, because they want to make you lift a heavy piece at your back and they make you run and then you fall over, you can't breathe, and one minute you're not even breathing at all, you don't know whether you're dead or alive, it's, you know. You, no, you no, do no. carry heavy weights, uh, but you're trained. You're, 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 trained. you're built up in stages to carry these weights. So we could both put on a heavy weight now and march and we're both at a level of fitness where we're good enough for that. But we weren't always there. We were trained to be that fit and to become that strong. Um, that's not something people need to worry about because you are genuinely trained step by step to carry these weights. Um, if you can do it already, that's fantastic. But, and if you fall, you're, you're, it's not like get up, carry on. It's, it's a real medical safety concern. It's not um, what you see on the telly. I think that's more dramatized for views. After the break, we'll be talking more about how can people get into the army. But let me talk more about your jobs here now. You know, when you say you're a driver, you drive every kind of, from smaller one to the bigger to the bigger and the more complicated ones. Where are you expected to drive those? Where do you go with them? Is it locally at the moment? Or would you be taken wherever they need to go in any part of the world? Yeah, we've um, been to Germany last year. We went to Germany to help Did you? with an exercise. Um, by we, I mean the South or the unit that we've come from. Um, 
locally at the moment is just moving little things from here to Aldershot, for example. We could go to Scotland. Um, two years ago, we did uh, a rail sleeper move. We had to help recreate a railway that was being built, and our job was to move the railway sleepers from A to B. And, wow, and really? that, that was um, that was South England. So it, yeah, we can go anywhere within driving distance. I mean, as long as we've got a ferry, we can. It get sounds there. quite interesting, doesn't it? It's fabulous. What, what, what is the drawback for you, if you see any? Um, time away from family would be my biggest drawback. Um, but again, that's only if we we say yes. That it's it's a great opportunity to ad adventure, to qualify, to educate, to to travel. It, drawbacks are so minimal, I think, um, for me personally. The adventures, adventures are amazing. You can be doing parachuting, mm. paragliding, rock climbing, swimming, board. Um, you could be doing anything you want. You could really? be going to, yeah. One of our uh, trained soldier, he's in the outside now on uh, I mean uh, deployment. So he's out in other countries. So he's there for six months. He's known awards. He's just there because some trainings always need to be done. Like Germany, two weeks. Mm -hmm. We could go. We don't have to go, but we given choice. Like they tell you, you ask you, there is a, this training is coming. So if you want to go for it, you accept. Otherwise, just decline. So we can go. So there's so plenty there's no of opportunities being thrown at you, whether you want to take it or not. Absolutely. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've been abroad many times. I've, I've lived abroad with the army and I've deployed or I have been on adventure training abroad. The, the opportunities are there if you want them. Absolutely. You know, I, I tell you honestly, because I, I, when I get people like yourself from the British forces and I sit back and up, in younger time you don't think about it because you've got so much things to do. You want to do this, you want to do that. And there was a chance I could have been in the army, but my mom would let me go. Things were different in my age. Uh, I, I regret when I see you people. Honestly, there's, there's, I, I wish I was strong enough to fight my mom and get, just <laughs> go to the army. Honestly, God bless her up there. But then there again, this with, with our culture, uh, it, when it comes to the mother, you, there's nothing about that. You know, it depends how you look at it. Um, I'm not saying that, I'm not feeling sorry, I haven't done it, but at least I, 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 I kept my mom happy. You respected family values, and that, values. that's very important, absolutely. Mm. Um, but we welcome any, any religion, any culture. So if someone is thinking of coming to us and they have the backing of their friends and their family, we all welcome them with open arms. Yeah, always we are there to help them as well, to motivate. And uh, if you need any help on the training side, to what question is going to be asked, how far you need to run, how much weight you need to lift, we are there to help them. So we just need to come forward. Who did you in the army, your friends or your cousin? My friends. Your friends. Now you need, to, you need to take that legacy forward now. You're going to get mm -hmm. some more people in now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they told me to do it, so I'll, I'm trying. I told friends, but the moment they say, oh, we think in, let's see, because our Afghani peoples are more like, they go for a business. Business, yes. More business than anything else. They think about business, but they forget about their kids need to be educated, but they pay for fees and all this. Why not just get them in a... But now the people from Af Af Afghanistan, they youngsters, um, girls and, and the boys as well, and they don't follow the father's business. They really want to do things of their own. Yes, it's true. Uh, going it's to true. good jobs, uh, accountancy, maybe whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they, you're moving away from that. Yes, it's true. It's true because they're born over here, they grow up in here, so they yeah. don't want to do these off-license jobs anymore. They just want to go and do something. It's actually, it's good for the country as well because... Absolutely, that's what I said. It's good for they be becoming army, maybe they become police, they become soldiers, may become maybe solicitor, maybe future prime minister. You never Jackie, know. Jackie, this is what I was saying earlier when I was when I opened the show. Uh, this is in my language, Punjabi. Um, you like you're born here. It's different, right? But our kids who are born here. They they're very much like English. They are English yeah. because they're born here. But that doesn't make me any less. Even if I'm not born in this country, I feel I need to feel I'm British. I need to feel I'm English. And if you got that attitude, you need to start working for the British forces, you've got to go into politics, you've got to work for the country you live in, it's your country now. And 
it, this is something so difficult to go into people's head. But the youngsters are learning it quicker. Yeah. yeah. They're learning quicker because they don't think any different to what they, like you, think. And the jobs are there if they want them. Exactly, and, and the job's there. That's the beautiful thing, yeah. The only thing what I see, the youngsters, they want quick money. <laughs> because the education they hold, the degrees, they go to the university, they come up with so much diplomas or whatever. Uh, and and then they think, you know, well, I could be working somewhere in the city high fly. <laughs> but to, uh, the army job can be tough, it can't be tough. It depends what you want to do, isn't it? It's true. Yeah, it can be tough, absolutely. Um, if you're away on deployments, it's tough. But at the same time, when we wear this uniform, we're a family and we become our own family as well. That's great what you said. Jackie, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to excuse me because we're going to go into a break. Would you believe we've already gone one through, but <laughs> almost half an hour. Uh, please keep watch. Karo. Asi bari koshish kar den ke apni youngsters listen to Jackie and her jeet ko lo. Uh, army is not that tough, but a different, different job. Hai gane. Hun asi break to baad gal baat karenge ki tere tu si army ke da join kar sakte ho. Keep watching. Asi chhod je break lagay. Hone wapas aane aaj. Sasre ka. So she got well back in the second part. I got to see near the care. I mean, I got to see watch Korunga, but interesting. The but jelly about interesting Haga. Many coaches are even there came up and they like a Joe come card to see one of the color Sunday Pion. Kiss it another swall to the Bachin and join Kuna to the Lelkin and join Kana. Please call Kalke to see for the Korunga Jati, Galkaranga, Jackie the Nante, her Jidana, K. 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 Chaida in a sense education wise, fitness wise, age wise, so they bare gal karange. They agar koi bhi swale hoga, please do call in any time. Number screen upar hi hoga. They they'll be more than happy to help you and talk to you, guide you through. Um, Jackie, what age you can actually join the army? So you can join the regular army when you're 17 years nine months. 17 years nine months, yeah. Correct. Yes. But is there anything like when you see youngsters going to the army camps? like yeah. uh, 12, 13, 14, what do they do there? So uh, you can join cadets, which aren't cadets, yes. part of the army. So they're not part of the army. They wear the same uniform, uh. but they're not the same, um, they're not in the same system. But there's also a college that 16 year olds can attend um, and it gives you an apprenticeship that leads you up until you're 18 to then join the army. So when you're at that age, 14, 15, 13, what are they being trained there? Is it something they want to be or what's something you tell them what to do? Um, it's, so if you're cadets, you're, you're taught what we're taught, but in... Oh, okay. So you're taught the same things, but we're just not the same company. Same company. Um, so it doesn't give you an automatic right to join the regular army, although you transfer many, many of the same skills. And if you go to the college, then you can, um, you're basically taught from, from day one, real soldiering, and you are, you be, you're becoming a soldier with education. So they get you through your, your A-levels, and at the end of that, you pop out as a soldier. So basically, officer. you're the mother, and, and you work with the army as a driver. I am, yes. Yeah. Yes. And had you to see uh, Toreki Dono, what's your other job otherwise? I'm an Uber driver. <coughs> really? I drive a minicab, yes. How long have you been doing that? Oh, four or five years now. Really? Since I sold the shop. So yeah. obviously your friend convinced me to join the army. And you're glad you did that? Yes, I'm glad to be in the army now, yes. What age up to you can work in the army? Retirement age? Retirement is 55, uh, but depending on you and your circumstances and your job position, it can be extended. It can be extended. It can, but you have to apply year on year and it's case by case. Um, yeah, so it's, if you want it as a career, it can be as long as, you know, it can be your full working Depending on what you do, exactly. Whether it's a, a demanding job or whether it's something the, uh, clerical, you can sit in the office a bit longer. Yeah, but yeah, you can you can um, job switch as well within the army. It's not a case of doing it overnight, 
But if we were drivers, so I used to be Royal Military Police and then I job switched and became a driver. So you can transfer your skills and gain a new qualification, a new trade and job switch and that can keep you employed as well. You know when I think it's, uh, you're going to stay on, you're going to be doing, um, you could decide to do something totally different to what you're doing at the moment. Uh, it seems that you're quite interested to stay on now. Oh. मैं वेट रेट करूंगा दी फर्स्ट अपनी ट्रेड कंप्लीट करके उस तो बाद फिर आई थिंक मे बी ए शेफ और मे बी समथिंग डिफरेंट आई विल कंटिन्यू फॉर एज फार एज आई कैन बट वन थिंग आई गुड आई सी लाइक पी टी विच इज अ प्राइवेट यू बिकम अ सर्जन यू गेट रैंक्स आफ्टर सो मेनी ईयर्स वॉर एवर आई बी शो कीन टू गो यू नो अप एंड अप अप द लैडर बिकॉज दैट दैट रैंक मीन्स अ लॉट इट्स अप डज इट it does so the more rank you have the more um responsibility you have so after private you get lance corporal after lance corporal corporal then you're sergeant which is what i am um and each each stage you get given more and more responsibility um but that's not always what people want so some people really love staying as a private or a lance corporal exactly being out there the more high the higher the rank you get the more um office based roles there are um the less people there are the more managerial things you have to complete so it it really depends on you as well you you your personality doesn't you don't always promote you have to be the right person to fit in the right position and the right job you know with the uniforms um whether it's the airline or the uh, british forces um you can always distinguish when you look at the stripes do you wear stripes as well like one stripe two stripes yeah. so it, oh normally normally the stripes on the uh, on the shoulder isn't it depends on the what you're wearing so yeah um, we wear our so that, I, yeah. I tell you what so i did not know those are the stripes i didn't know that did you know i put my hand i put my hand up honestly i didn't know that yeah so, so that is the stripes is it yes yeah and so I one no stripes yeah so okay. that's private So next stage for me is a one stripe maybe a lance corporal really so yeah and then that is great something i learned today yeah and then we wear we wear the colored ones when we're not in the field and then when we're in the field we change these to this color so it's harder to spot for camo concealment camouflage something i learned when i see you on the street then i can say oh you know he, he's yeah. got no stripe there at the moment yeah and <laughs> our, our officers wear wear pips so he can't talk big to me because i know <laughs> we <laughs> yeah <laughs> no obviously when when i get people like you i need to do do lot of research i need to talk obviously i can't do everything but this is something i've learned yeah. because stripes was always in my mind was on the shoulders yeah or, for, or, for pilots or, they yeah, are yeah pilots they? yeah I, uh, my younger days i used to work with the airline and this is how i knew that yes and you know my my brother used to work there as well and we used to get the gold ones yes and white shirt with the gold ones oh my god and i i had only one at the time and he had three and i said i wanted to put some more in i want to go to the tailor so and get some more get some on brilliant <laughs> now this is interesting um jackie before we run out of time it's very uh, i i'm so keen and i really really want our youngsters to get up and enjoy because they, you can like you say you can take the uh, camel to the water but you can't make him drink no so you go to take the people to the army and make them drink <laughs> now say something looking at the camera i really really honestly i really appreciate it. you know because some people say what you got out of this i get the satisfaction that i did the show somebody out there uh, becomes a huge uh, uh, position wise rank wise in the army and he or she could say you know like i'm asking questions why did you join the army he and she might say what well, was watch the program yeah. on the tv channel pal jali was doing the channel and they talk with the army and this is what made my uh, decide to join the army yeah i'm not getting nothing but a satisfaction to see that somebody made their life to, something to meaningful absolutely so if you're thinking about it um or anything i would say just follow your passion follow your dream personally i i knew when i was 13 i really wanted to do the army um and i wanted fitness i wanted adventure i wanted travel and i got it all i i've lived in several countries um i i've lived in cyprus i've lived in germany i've managed to have a family within the army 
and my family have travelled with me. I've done tours of different countries, I've visited the Falkland Islands, um, I've, I've experienced culture, I, I had the privilege of going to Afghanistan and helping the local people and the satisfaction I feel and the pride I have wearing this kit and doing the job that I love, uh, it's, you, can't, you can't buy that sort of thing. Um, you also gain education, you, you gain so many things and you gain a new family. Everyone in this kit, we're a family. So if you are thinking about this, come in our office doors and, and inquire. The worst that can happen is that you don't sign up. The best that can happen is that you find a whole new life, a whole new career and something that you really, really enjoy. And my advice there is just follow your passions. Well said. There's something I really picked up from you. The earlier, few minutes ago, you mentioned that as well. But uh, important thing is that you know, just the local language. Then there's certain things. Just like I said, you know, sometimes you make up your mind that this is what I want to do because you watch on the show, and this is something Jackie said and made your mind up that that's what you want to do. Very important. Time after time, Jackie been using one word, family. You know, just to see how much you know, Jackie said that we are like a family. They go different place, different culture, different places they live in, but they work in one place, they treat each other like a family. That is very important. Amitya, they have that atmosphere there that you feel like a family. Definitely. Yeah, this yeah. is a great. You hit the nail now badly, really. Uh, and, you know, because these are the things I pick up and then uh, encourage you to people at home, watching you, listening to you, should know these things, that army is not all that tough. Okay, it's tough, tough in a way, but the people out there, you, you, they become your family. Yeah, de definitely. When, when I was in Afghanistan, the place I was based at, there was me and one other female, and the rest were male soldiers. And it didn't matter. They treated us fair, respectfully. Um, we, me and the other female, were in the same area of sleeping, but we had males in our area. It was cordoned off, you know. But it, it didn't matter. Those boys, those men, they became our brothers. Um, they became figures of respect in our life and they looked after us as we looked after them. It doesn't matter who you are, what gender you are. As long as you're there doing your job with passion, you're there, you're in it, definitely. The respect is there all the time. Yes. This is great, this is great. Do you anything you'd like to say? Punjabi, whatever. Yeah, I was thinking about the army join the army. It was very difficult. But when I went there, I felt like I opened the door and said, I went to the family. It was my name. So easy. When I joined, I didn't know when I was going to join. I didn't know when I was going to join. It was almost 10 years ago. I was going to complete my own trade. I was going to be a full soldier, fully trained. I was going to be a full trained. Education is there. Help is there. The family is there, but just join. If you're thinking about joining the army, it's one of the best things you're going to do for your life. Physically, how do you feel? You look fit, by the way, anyway. Is this the result after joining the army? Were you like it's, this before? Uh, it's more likely after the army. After the army, After yeah? the army, yeah. After the army. Because when I started my training, I had a lot of weight. 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 मुश्किल होती थी ज़्यादातर वो लेज़ी पान लेज़ीनेस होने ते प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं है कोई भी मैं जब तो तो बैग टेस्ट को तो चुक के थोड़ी देर वॉक करके जाना थी कार जो कार पहुँच दे पहुँच दे उंगलियाँ थाके जान दी ऐसी दिल नहीं करता थी कि हो गया हाथ थाक गया होने ते डिफरेंट ना होने ते बहुत डिफरेंट family members, when you get into the workplace, it's different, but the army workplace is completely different than any other places. You look forward to go there every time. You look forward, you wait for the day to come back to work and go back and meet all these friends. So we do go outside, we do have a fun with the army people, but sometimes when you're working in like, I did work in the airport, but sometimes those people are like difficult to work with sometimes, sometimes they are like all sort of people you work with, you never know. What's but the basic the education you need? To be a soldier. Whatever in the you, you, you can. GCSE? No, no. You don't need 
any basic qualifications to join. You have to pass a, a test which tests certain like brain functions. Um, so it, it's not hard. Don't you know? Don't be put off by the word test. But you'll you'll basically be given you part you do your test and it will print out um, these are the job roles that suit you. And then once you're in these job roles, you can then do your level two in English, your level two in maths, and they will teach you. So you don't have to be qualified to join. So it's not any different than going for a normal interview, is it really? Questionnaires, that kind of thing. A normal interview for um, like a civilian job. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've never... I've never done it. I joined, it was my first job. Yeah, so but even, even that is not that easy, but it's the, the army seems very much like similar. Yeah, you, there, there's processes you must go through mm. and there's tests you must pass. Fitness tests, you must be at a certain level before you can become a soldier. Um, the, the barb test, it's called, you, you must fill it in and it says these are the roles that are suited to you um, with your current abilities, but it doesn't mean you're stuck with those. You can pick one, you come in, you train as a soldier, you trade, you can then educate yourself and, and retrade. You can become a different person within that job. I have a lot of very important mind I have to ask you to start with represent the army, represent the community by wearing the turban. How did you feel, Kita, because you probably stand out uh, wearing the turban more than the other army people? So, see, Udish Kita, proud feel Kadesi, were you a bit self esteem? How did you feel there? I was the first thing I was thinking was how they going to treat me. Exactly. I was going to say, I was going to say, I was going to कोई देखेगा मनु sometimes कोई जब तो देखता है ना दूजा बंदा हो बे ते सानु अजीब जा लगता है कि I don't want to show my hair to anybody हाँ, else हाँ. जब तो मैं गया army देश nobody cares really yeah it's no you, one you cares don't want to be you are about. just <laughs> it's just another person yeah they treat you as exactly the same as any other person is there you're not being treated as special you're not being treated as a lost different person than different than, than other but, but just but treated the same religion is respected so it, if yep. you're if you need to practice your religion, we also respect that, and we will allow you. Whoever, to, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. we 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 have different. Normally, you're not allowed to wear a beard, but the Sikh culture requires it. So he wears a beard. So we do respect the different. We don't treat you differently in a bad sense. We treat you respectfully, um, depending on your culture. You don't want to use the word freedom. Uh, it's in a freedom, but then the respect as well for the different religion as well. And there's so much in the army which I really, uh, you know, envy that. I think this is the greatest thing. Uh, people should look into this more seriously, to be honest, because like he said earlier, um, the first day you were reluctant, you, you probably haven't got confidence enough, you're going to feel, oh my God, I don't know what people are going to say, how do I going to dress up in front of them? Yeah. But the boys are boys, they get together, they... they run into the shower room all together, whatever, then <laughs> it's all accepted there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, respectfully respect. This, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. You, you can choose to be part of it, full, or you can step back and watch for a bit. You're, you're welcome, however, whoever you are, whether you're a quiet person or the loud person. But or you, the can't, you can't stay quiet for too long because the way you describe, you become one of them, you become very bold and, and you will mingle in, wouldn't you? You mingle in, but I, I've always been told I'm a quiet person. Really? Yeah, always. I don't see that today. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking great questions. That's why. Yeah. No, you did, done very well. Jackie, the other thing, because you were mentioned earlier that you've been to different places, Falkland Islands, uh, Afghanistan, you went to Germany. Um, do you to go to the British Army camps there or do you go drive where you get to see some blood or something like this? Do you have any incidents like that? No. Because a lot of people might think, oh, you, you've you been sent to drive something on the war zone or something. So when I went to Afghanistan, I was military police. Uh -huh. My role out there was purely to train civilians to become police officers. So call it trade training. Really? My role out there was to train people to be police officers, to protect their own country. Um, the Falkland Islands is, I was policing again. It, it's, it was 
purely policing soldiers, keeping keeping peace out there. Um, it's yes, I've been taught to use a rifle. Absolutely. Um, do I go out looking for blood? Absolutely not. That's mm. that's not what the army is. Um, we are we are peacekeepers. We do not go out there looking for blood. It's not. We're trained to deal with the circumstances. Um, highly, highly trained. Can I can I add that for for Afghanistan? We trained for about a year before we went, um, but that's not our main role. Our, they just want to make sure we're safe. Our main role is our trade. So you know, we talked talk earlier before the show. Just quickly, we're telling you about our community. We we are known as warriors. Um, we 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 become warriors when we need to come. And you, you change according to the circumstances as, as it fits you. Um, very brave community. Uh, what that advantage to you in any way? Being coming from the community, like you saying Punjabi, the lovers, Guru and Deepya Kari, you know? Yes. What were you saying? Gurki Forge. Guru Gurki Forge. Guru Gurki Forge. Gurki Gurki Forge. God's Army. God's Army. As Ardinal always has been. When we carry on, we carry on. We carry on. शो करने वास्ते नहीं है ये डिफेंड करने वास्ते डिफेंड अपने आप को डिफेंड नहीं करना जिधे नू जिन्हों को जिधा अपने आप को डिफेंड नहीं कर सकता उन्हों डिफेंड करना क्रूल चीजों तो उसे स्टॉप करने हो ना अनजस्टिस नू स्टॉप कर दे आर्मी तो यू चक्कर है यू सी पर शिक्षक मिनटी देखें जब जो भी सारे गुरु ने दसे हैं, this is what the army does really बिल्कुल बिल्कुल कई चीज़ आ सिमिलर सिमिलर सब डिफेंस है गिये, स्ट्रॉंग है गियो, and you stand तो शिना बुरा कर दे ना बुरा होन देने होन देने हो, गटका कर देने सारे पंजाबी गटका दा मतलब ये चीज़ होन दिए के एक दूसरे ने लड़न नहीं है, a training है सारी एक दिन जरूर काम आएगी अपने आप नहीं तो किसी दूसरे ने defend करने दी army ऐसी चीज़ दी I said in Punjabi like the guru is teaching is that you do don't do bad and you don't see bad happening. If you let that happen, that you equally guilty as the person Absolutely. doing it. Absolutely, yes. This this is very much like in a culture, to be honest. So we we come from the army background. You could say that. Yeah, we're hand in hand. Hand in hand, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. But army, every single personnel is fully trained for medical to anything. We we are trained. If I see somebody's having a bad injury on the road, I can treat him. I'm fully trained to do that. Okay, you don't become very strong being in the army. You get to see everything. Majority of things like the normal people would not be able to get a chance to see that. What's your weakest point or what's your phobia? Oh. If you have any. Yeah, I mean, I'm human, of course. Um, th thinking about thinking about it would be the problem. We're, we're so highly trained that when something happens, we just automatically move into this role. If you stop and pause and let reality take over, that would be my downfall, I suppose. Mm. Um, I let the soldier in me take over. For example, the medical things. Um, I was driving home once and I saw a car crash right in front of me. I was like, okay, I know exactly what to do here. Pulled over, parked up, dealt with it. and. I didn't think about it until I was driving home later on and I was like, oh wow, oh okay, I just dealt with that. But because you're so highly trained, um, you can do things so well without letting your emotions become involved until later on when you can process it. That's good. Then I've been dragged to the bottom of the world. I've been watching the TV on the top of the TV. Especially when I'm talking about South Hall. This is where you're based in South Hall now. South Hall, which is another army day. What do you call it? A reserve or camp? What do you call it? Army Reserve Centre. Army Reserve Centre, which is in South Hall. Uh, not far to go. To that local hangar. Please, you know, how can somebody just go and try in for a little time? Can they come to the South Hall Army yeah, Reserve? Yeah, so we, we can interview them. Uh -huh. We can invite them to come along for a couple of Tuesdays, get mm -hmm. to know us. And if they like us and if they suit us, then, then we can take the next steps. You don't commit that when you walk into the gate, you're not committed straight away. Exactly. You're not. You can test the waters with us. Absolutely. You can. You, absolutely. I think to see local news, I told you, yeah, yeah. It's like you know to see Jackie Carey, you know, 
ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਜਿਸ ਜੋਨ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਚੈੱਕ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਲਾਕੀ ਸਾ ਜਸਟ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਟਚ ਦ ਵਾਟਰ ਗਰਮਾ ਕੇ ਠੰਡਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਸਟ ਕੋ ਚੈੱਕ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਸੀ ਫੋਰ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਫ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਕਰਨੇ ਦੋ ਲੈਟ ਦਮ ਮੇਕ देयर ਮਾਈਂਡ ਅਪ ਲੈਟ ਦਮ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਵਾਟ ਦਿਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਕੈਂਪ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਨਾ ਦਾ ਅਮੀਰ ਦਾ ਇਟਸ ਇਨ ਸਾਊਥ ਓਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟਸ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੋਨ ਸਟੋਨ ਥਰੋ ਫਰਮ ਹੇ ਵੇਅਰ ਐਵਰ ਯੂ ਲਿਵ ਨੋਟ ਟੂ ਫਾਰ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਦੇ ਆਮੀ ਐਂਡ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੋਰ ਕਲੋਜ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸਕੂਲ ਦਾ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਆਨਸ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਬਿਟ ਫਰਦਰ but this is just around the corner there the, 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 there's one here in south but the army reserve centers they're everywhere everywhere, everywhere isn't it yeah, any yeah. town any town yeah different trades different cap badges so they wear different berets different colors um but yeah we're everywhere if if you go on the army website you can see the job roles the lists and all the reserve centers a lot of people don't have a facility to go to the website walk into the center absolutely and there's a and talk yeah. to them they most welcome you they i'm sure you won't ask them questions why you are what you want to do no you can't come in blah. you have to have an appointment some people can just walk in and so, they they will be uh, taken care so you, they they're secured but there's always phone numbers on the outside so uh-huh. people can just give us a ring and 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 come in there there's the recruiting shops as well in some towns they can walk in there and say i would like more information on reserve centers um there's always recruiting posters outside reserve units they can give us a ring you, all units are secured for protection um so people can't generally just open the gates but if they catch a soldier ask us definitely we'll help that's nice ਅਜਿਤ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਐਡ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਤੇ ਗੂਗਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਸਿਰਫ ਗੂਗਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾ ਦਿਓ ਆਰਮੀ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਸਾਊਥ ਹਾਲ ਫੋਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਵੀ ਆ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਈਮੇਲ ਵੀ ਆ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਆ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਈਮੇਲ ਕਰੋ ਬੁੱਕ ਕਰੋ ਆਓ ਟਿਊਸਡੇ ਨੂੰ ਟਿਊਸਡੇ ਇਵਨਿੰਗ ਨੂੰ ਨੋਰਮਲੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਫਿਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਟਿਊਸਡੇ ਕੁਝ ਘੰਟੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਆਓ ਦੇਖੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਦੇਖੋ ਕਿਦਾਂ ਦੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਆਫਰ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਰੋਲਸ ਅਸੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਾਊਥ ਹਾਲ ਵਾਲਾ ਹੈ ਆਰ ਐਲ ਸੀ ਹੈ ਡਰਾਈਵਰ ਲੌਜਿਸਟਿਕ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਰੋਲ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਉਹ ਸ਼ੈਫ ਹੈਗਾ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਸ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਰੋਲਸ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਕਰੋ ਐਸ ਅ ਸ਼ੈਫ ਦੈਨ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰੈਸ ਅੱਗੇ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਜੈਕੀ ਅਜੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਕਮਿੰਗ ਆ ਰੀਲੀ ਐਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਅਮੀਦ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਛਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਵੈਬਸਾਈਟ ਤੇ ਜਾਣਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਕਾਈ 770 ਤੇ ਟਿਊਨ ਇਨ ਕਰੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਯੂ ਹੈ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਹੋਸਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਊਥ ਕਿੰਦਾ ਦ ਜੋਬ ਹੈਗਾ ਹਮਸ ਦ ਲਵ ਇਟ ਕਿੰਦਾ ਜੋਏ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਈਲੀ ਰਿਕਮੈਂਡ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵੀਕ ਕੋਈ ਹੋਰ ਗੈਸਟ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਵਾਂਗਾ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਆਪਣਾ ਖਿਆਲ ਰੱਖਿਓ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਟੇਕ ਗੁੱਡ ਬਾਏ ਨਾ ਓਕੇ ਜ